Welcome everyone to a brand new season of NBA basketball. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us are here at 2K Sports as we We're get back ready at to it. start the season in style. With Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. DA, it's all yours. Thanks very much. Now, D'Angelo Russell says he patterns his game after another crafty lefty. He said, if I could model my game after somebody, it would be Manu Ginobili. He was never the most athletic, but he could pass, he could score, and he was just so unpredictable. Not at all. Yeah, some new season. Definitely there, David. Thank you. Lizzie Hunter you know, spotted. Almost every team has some kind of roster turnover in the offseason, so Greg, this time of year can be about getting familiar with your new teammates. I'm playing that during feeling out process this early in the schedule. It's about finding your team's identity, figuring out how all the pieces are going to fit. Now the starting group for Orlando. In the post, it's Bancaro and Carter Jr. Hardaway is out there with Fultz, and it's Wagner in at the three. Only a B. For the Pistons. They've got Christian Not in Wood. the D. D'Angelo Russell out there with a ball. Wendell. And it's Cunningham, and it's Duran in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now, here is Russell. And the pass to Ivy. Passes it to Wood. Puts up a three. Offensive rebound. Duran. And Duran slams it in. Impossible to stop the putback when he's got that kind of position. Agreed, Greg. Let him get Wendell ain't ready for this. And finish it off. How about the activity level, the effort level? This team right now feeding off his energy. And so it's the Pistons getting on the board first. Wagner passes to Carter. Damn it. Making me move to them for. They can see in the movement there the athleticism Window Carter Jr. possesses. Really solid cut after setting the screen. Pass to Ivan. Cunningham for three. Sinks the triple. He doesn't need a lot of daylight. Stretches the defense night in and night out. And so it's Fultz who brings up the ball for Orlando. It's a three-point game. Hardaway kicks to Fultz. Wagner outside. Pass to Hardaway. Here's Carter. That drops and it comes off the assist. That was nice. He got away with that one. And far from just a score, Hardaway is also adept at finding his teammate. And think about this, guys. Wendell Carter Jr. has really flourished into an important and efficient two-way big man. We know defensively can hold things down. And offensively, I knew it was going to Wood. I ain't know what to do with my character because I'm like, it's going to Wood and he's going to score, so. Wagner outside. Back to Fultz. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Now here's Ben Carroll. D right on him. He gets it in there. And for Wendell Carter Jr., you know, Doris, he is still in the very early stages of his career, obviously. That's the exciting thing to me, Kevin, is that as good as he is right now, there's tremendous room for growth. Combine his physical tools with the diverse skill set, Wendell Carter should be a staple at the center position for a long time. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. Outside Hardaway. The pass to Wagner over Cunningham, and again it's Orlando converting. That's about trusting your instincts, knowing when the shot he wants to take is there and taking it in the catch and shoot, Mr. Wagner. Now here's Ivy. Passes to Wood. A three. That doesn't go either for Wood. Outside Hardaway. Carter outside. Launches it. Somebody else was supposed to pick him up. I came down to the paints. This is the skill that Wendell Carter Jr. is much more likely to display right now. That aggressiveness from three. Okay, Wendell. Here's Ike. Cunningham kicks to Russell. Here's Durant. 
Another shot, and it's good on the way up. I just love the determination on that back. I did do a guy what? The gates. Six point, really seven points on me. Yeah, we're seeing some early signs that he is on his game. That putback's a good illustration of the work he's ready to put in tonight. Here's Ben Carroll following the bucket by the Pistons. Here's Hardaway. Duran pulls it in. For Detroit, they've gone five of eight from the field. My bad, just have it, not to pass on the ball. With the shot, the Pistons rebound. Good with the bucket. And he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Orlando trailing here. Why is the court so bright? Damn. Dishes it to Hardaway. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Wood with the block. And an aggressive block there by Wood. He's not going to shy away from competing defensively. Cunningham, good, and the assist goes to Russell. Cunningham. Yeah, I might want to take a timeout. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Oh, oh shit. Wide open. Six At least it ain't just me. Computer does it to itself, too. Continues to develop his floor awareness. Passes like that will create all kinds of chemistry. Russell passes to Ivy. Now, Cunningham. Oh, good on the damn it. Three. Fultz against Wood. Fultz kicks to Carter. Wagner outside. Looking for Carter. He gets it there. That's so damn whack, bro. Over and over. This guy understands when a man is open. He's got the timing and the touch to make the pass. There's 57 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Russell passes to Wood. To the middle and he finishes nicer on the way woods got eight taking back the lead once more give these teams credit man they are battle neither team willing to give an inch and neither able to seize the momentum this has been a fascinating one to watch here's wagner after the main shot from christian wood back to hardaway shot clock at six after two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. He's an explosive athlete with tremendous positional size. Hardaway has no issue mixing Doing it up too much. It's stolen by Bancaro. Pass to Fultz. Back to Hardaway. How? How? How, bruh? I saw at least two hands up there to block that. And so, both teams trade buckets as we end the first quarter. Magic out in front, up by one. Live from Little Caesars Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. And this has been a fairly close game for the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Magic. Straight away, they, they both been things nine up. Nine points on the road. What the hell? Passing, running smart plays, and just setting guys up for success. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. On the court for Orlando, at the forward position, it's Wagner and Ben Carroll. Hardaway is out there with Cole Anthony, and it's Carter in at the five. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. The Pistons oh, he's clapping at me, Bass. Here's Ike. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Back to Russell. For three. It's good. He scores. That's his first yeah, yeah. Why does it stop me from moving, bro? Throw the best. For three. Yeah, a natural score. Ivy is developing into a tremendous playmaker. 
Now, here's Wagner. He's got five. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. How? Wagner's got I was the still standing there. For the How? That's big time focus from Franz. Okay, young sir, we see you taking the contact. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. And the dunk was nice, Kevin, but the move he made to free himself up was a thing of beauty. It sure was, Greg. What a savvy play to get into position for that jam. Here are the Magic now after the basket by Detroit. Carter right side. Evaluating recent attempts, doors to create super teams. They haven't quite worked out as planned, have they? What we understand now is the game isn't played on paper. So many things go into winning. Chemistry, health, and if you risk your future trying to put together a super team with no consideration for what comes next, that can be problematic. Well, that's the energy and effort that D'Angelo Russell brings on the defensive end. This guy's got the ability to be a factor there. The Magic shooting a magnificent 69% in this game. game. Wagner outside. Back to Anthony. Uh, how did I not block? His range with that one. Now one for two. I love it when guards are willing to get on the inside and go ahead and make plays. Cole Anthony, a scorer by nature. Now, here is Russell. Cunningham outside. Let's it go. Detroit, no good that time either. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Hardaway passes to Carter. How again did I not block that? Hardaway has got four assists in the game. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Now, here is Russell. He takes it in. Count it good. Russell's got five points now this quarter. You have the sense that D'Angelo Russell likes to play through contact. This is a tough-minded player. Cunningham against Wagner. Anthony in the corner. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. James Wiseman, he's checked in for Durant. Orlando also making some changes on the ball. The hip. With one on the clock, and that's going to do it. Some good defense down the stretch to end the quarter. And so it's Franz Wagner making highlights for the Magic. He ends up dropping in two from distance, making a difference from long range in this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Coach, it's early in the season, so what can you say about how things are going chemistry-wise so far? All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Honorable Piston, Jalen Rose. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through. It was a closely contested first quarter for Orlando. They ended the period holding on to a slim one-point lead. And... We saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. And so it's Fultz who brings up the ball for the Magic. They lead by one. It's off to Charlotte for him after this game as they take on the Hornets. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. We've got Durham. Cunningham is out there with Wood, and there's D'Angelo Russell, and it's Ivy in at the two guard spot. That's the group for Detroit right now. Hey, and Berlin native Franz Wagner was only stateside a few years before 
coming to the NBA. Well, the beauty about him, though, is Franz has an incredible skill set offensively, and that translates to any language. Consider this guy is a multi-tool player. He can stretch it to deep. He can shoot the mid-range. He's fine around the cup. He'll board it, and he's an excellent playmaker. Boy, this guy can fit in just about anywhere. Boy, when you look at the six foot ten Franz Wagner, what you love is the skill set. It is tailor made for today's NBA. He can stretch you from deep. He's not afraid to mix it up on the glass. You love it. Pass to Ivy. Good D by Hardaway. Magic leading by three. It's tipped. That's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. You're on the wing. He kicks it to Fultz. Over Russell. Six to shoot. Damn, Hard yeah. away with a wide open look. Now three off the mark. Pistons trail by three. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. And undrafted out of college, Wood has dealt with plenty of adversity. I think he can overcome a little bump. Outside Hardaway. Takes the three. Connects from three-point range. Hardaway has got the lead up to four now for the Magic. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now, here's Ivy. Guarded by Hardaway. Stole uh, away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Nobody knew that was coming. And Wagner has it in the corner. And it's in. Basket number six for him. Really he's only Why missed the two shots not, from the floor. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Here's Russell. And there's the pass to Durham. Good. No, he's not doing that either. Six points here for Jalen Durham. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Hardaway passes to Fultz. Wagner against Cunningham. Wagner kicks to Hardaway. And they recover it. Van Caro dishes to Carter. And here we go. The Pistons fast break. Russell's running. They get it back. During the pass to Ivy. Oh Six my on the God. shot clock. And Jen shot. Carter pulls it in. Oh. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Oh, he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum. They can't come off the screen they they in the corner. This game open. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. Anthony's checked in for the Magic. That's a noise once again for your Pistons mini. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Kicks it to Hardaway. Wagner with it. 17 points in the game. Clock at six. Pass to Carter. No way. Way. Close. For one more, Second it's on Jalen Durham. And the Pistons, Three. entirely new Four group now out there. And a change for the Magic. Isaacs. Oh, my God, bro. Pistons well. trail by nine. Russell ain't the missing piece. Orlando. 
Filling the perimeter, it's Suggs and Wagner. In the post, it's Van Caro and Carter Jr. And it's Fultz in at the point. And it goes down two points. And wheeling the ball into the bucket. Nothing has come easy to Wood. He's had to fight for his place here in the league. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Magic. Their accuracy in this one has just been on another level. I mean, the three ball keeps falling, and the defense just hasn't been able to run them off the line. Uh, they've also done a heck of a job at the free throw line tonight. Good aggression has led to a number of easy chances and points at the line. No one near Van Carroll as he lets it go. No good on the triple. Detroit's gone 7-15 from three-point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And Duran slams it in. As a playmaker, he trying to control me. He's not allowing to me to move to the damn basket, bro. He'd only increase his value. Pass to Suggs. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. And that one's good. Wagner. 19 points for Franz Wagner. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Now, here's Ivy. He's covered closely. Misses off the right. See, I pulled me away from the damn basket. Six. Here's Wagner, and it's blocked. Wagner against Russell. Pass to Duran. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. 12 points here for Jalen Duran. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Orlando moving the ball around. And here's Fultz. He kicks it to Carter. Four on the clock. Come on, what the? On Come the on, bro. I'm holding out L2 and everything, man. By the big man, Wendell Carter Jr. So much athleticism. This guy is cooking. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drop that happened a moment ago. And trying to extend this lead. No better way than playing north and south. Getting after him. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Fultz against Russell. That's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, the matchups, or call a play. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, Charlie physically, doing the waiver. recharge here quickly. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Alder. What's the latest, David? Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear Dwayne Casey talk to his team. He told his guys, tempo. Wait, they tempo. took a timeout, too? You've got to be quicker into transition. Push the ball. Let's get some opportunities before their defense can set up. Kevin, back to you. All right, thank you, David. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Shot clock at five. Now the pass to Kirk. Wagner kicks to Fultz. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. Russell inside. What is the game doing? Shot picks up two points, so one free throw. Because this bum ass motherfucker, man, damn. I'm up here telling him to pass the damn ball. On the interior. And the Magic making a change here. Hardaway is checked in. At the line. What you love about D'Angelo Russell is his commitment to work. Though he's played for a couple of teams, this guy brings it every day. Fultz the pass to Carter. The basket. The fuck was that animation, brother, for a block? Fultz has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Pistons trail by three. Loads it up for Wood. And how 
about the boys there under pressure. Wood. Supreme confidence in himself there to finish that one. And it's Vaults with the ball for the Magic. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Outside Hardaway. Passes it to Van Carroll. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Boy, and on a night where he's been so smart handling the ball, that's his first big mistake. And it's Detroit's ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Pass to Ivan. Here's Durant. Wood trying to free himself up. Makes it off the glass. Durant's got eight points in the quarter. We can expect a dramatic end to this one. Yeah, no, no quit by either side, guys. Neither team willing to give any ground. Pass to Wagner. Now, here's Van Carroll. Back to Wagner. And Cunningham with the block. Oh, great anticipation by Cunningham. Managing to get his hand on that shot. Got a piece of it. Shot's good by Jordan. And the Pistons lead by three. How does even know he was there? Come on, bro. Stop it. And they've been active defensively, rotating well, and, and then also closing out on shots. This better not be one of the damn games they're trying to force an overtime. A block. Been a big part of what's happened in this game. Crashing the boards with authority, turning those opportunities into second chance points. Boy, big time, big time on the offensive glass. And there's the pass to Ivan. Russell against Fultz. And Russell gets it to go. In huge moment, D'Angelo Russell comes through big time. Side Hardaway and stolen by Ivy. And now Ivy running the floor all by himself. And slam dunk by Ivy. Calling for the ball and taking over Ivy with great confidence and the game to back it up. Now a timeout called by Orlando. They're behind by five. 115 left to play here in the fourth. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Markel Fultz. And I love that it's been a hard charging. But two points? Jump what? shots have been Bruh. kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. Now here is Hardaway. He's guarded closer. Kicks to Carter, 18 feet out. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Carter's got 12 points here in the second half. Wendell Carter Jr. says, big moment is my time. What incredible confidence. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Ivy. They get it back. Here's Jordan. Money. You have to appreciate the doggedness and intensity on the glass. Wow. Side Hardaway. And it's blocked. Oh, nice swat there from Ivy. Love seeing guards like him come up big on defense. And now they decide to foul intentionally. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they go to the intentional foul. <laughs> Look at Jalen. <laughs> Why was he the one that dropped past the two? We'll see if he can nail the second. And you have to appreciate the all-out effort Jay Nivey gives you on the court. He, he works so hard to find ways to get involved and prove he belongs here. Uh, this guy here. Watch him try to shoot a three. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Hardaway dishes to Fultz. Back to Hardaway. Out left of the wing. Let's it go with a three. Fultz, no good. And an intentional foul right there. 
Wendell Carter Jr. Third personal foul, 15 foul. At the line for Detroit, Avi Tuzak. And that bro, what the heck? Bro. I could have had double double two if he didn't steal my rebound. That's off as well. So he misses both. And so they choose to attack. What the f <laughs> Man, it took forever. <laughs> Swear this game was trying to force an overtime. It just is it's, it's glitching with itself. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. And he is unable to get the second one. Time call here. The Magic decided to This dude just went one for five. One mean one for six at the free throw line. Eight seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Is what's your take? Uh, they need a quick basket here. Well, preferably a three, right? If there's a clean look, take it. Here is Carter, off the inbound pass, knocks down the trifecta. Boy, confident shot from the big man, Carter Jr., spacing the floor. How? And stolen by Bruh. Wagner. Looking to tie it up with a big triple. Greg, this is all about execution. Can you free an open man from the three-point line? That's what it comes down to. And so the big win by Detroit in the tight end. What a show. They were scripting this out, bro. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you, you Come on, man. Stop on it. Of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldrich, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone. end up with the most points and Kate only has seven he was one for five over three and he was the player of the game Stop it.